Attention, pursuant to 16 CFR 1450E1, note, Code of Foundation Regulations, Title 16, Section 1450 deals with prevention of document tempering. The following document is subject to security protocol Hadusa Clay. The Skipnet intranet has detected anomalous tempering with the following document. Caution is advised for all readers. Item number SCP-5081 Snackle brand delectable elbows Object class Euclid Explained Special Containment Procedures Whereas the defendant has been accused of libel against the plaintiff with the publication of the document SCP-5081 and whereas the defendant has damaged the plaintiff's livelihood via said rumors and whereas evidence has been produced where the defendant stole and destroyed the plaintiff's property and whereas the defendant resorted to specifically targeting the plaintiff's Hatrons for physical harassment, and whereas the defendant attempted to prolong and devalue intellectual property belonging to the plaintiff by publicizing trade secrets to members of its internal organization, and whereas the defendant of libel suit 2020L151298 Snackle vs. Foundation was absent from the hearing. The court has ruled in favor of the plaintiff, Snackle Foods LLC, as compensation for damages caused. The SCP Foundation, henceforth referred to as Foundation, shall be made to pay a sum of 132 billion US dollars to the plaintiff as compensation for damages. The later libelous text displayed in the most prominent of the offending documents titled SCP-5081, allowed the plaintiff to publish a clarification regarding their company and their products on the said document for a duration of up to 10 years. SCP-5081, all products produced by Snacko Foods LLC are considered explained. Therefore, no containment is necessary. People want to eat them because they are extremely scrumptious. Disregard all unsubstantial rumors regarding Snacko products below. The Foundation does not know what deliciousness is. Snacko fudgy chocolate fruitcake nuts are decadent and rich. Snacko cherry flavored candy fizzle bombs are bursting with flavor. Snacko crunchy sea salt caramel wonder bars are sophisticated and yet simply amazing. Snacko zesty habanero potato crisps are an excellent companion to any game day. Available now in your local grocery stores. Description SCP-5081 is a brand of snack foods, primarily candies, distributed within the continental United States. Information on the packaging indicates SCP-5081 is produced by Snacko Foods LLC and distributed from Newman, Illinois. Though no records of this LLC trademark or municipality exist, the web domain name listed on all SCP-1581 packaging is unregistered, and the toll-free telephone number is operated by a laundromat and Saskatchewan. Snacko is proud to be owned and operated entirely in the town of Numa, Illinois, where our founder, Gerald Snacko, first opened his little confectionery on Dunwich Avenue. Since then, we have worked tirelessly to carry out his vision of making the world a little sweeter. One elbow at a time. The design of SCP-5081's packaging contains cognito hazards that serve to attract a viewer's attention when viewed through peripheral vision. Four varieties of SCP-5081 as be documented as of the year of 2019, December 16th. Number, Branding, Description, Analysis 5081A Fudgy chocolate cloppernut. Balls of chocolate fudge with almonds. Thaumaturgical icons found imprinted onto the surface of some samples. Function of these symbols currently unknown. 5081B. Cherry flavored candy fuzzle bombs. Soft cherry flavored candy with a liquid interior. 
1.6% of samples tested contained traces of gunpowder. Contaminated instances described as tasting slightly burnt. 5081C. Crunchy sea salt caramel wonder bars. Caramel and crushed pretzel bar with a chocolate shell. Instances we think constant temperature of 20.1 degrees Celsius, even when exposed to extreme heat and cold. 5081D. Zesty habanero potato crisps. Habanero flavored potato chips. Forcing marketed as containing no artificial flavors, the habanero flavoring is produced by trade secrets expunged by court order. Individuals who ingested greater than 50 grams of SCP-5081 became an instance of SCP-5081-1. SCP-5081-1 instances attempt to pursue a diet consistent entirely of SCP-5081, resorting to other forms of nourishment only when necessary, and becoming highly distressed if denied access to SCP-5081 for extended periods. While instances do not appear to suffer from the expected deliberating effects of the diet, it appears to significantly affect subjects' body chemistry. One instance's skeletal structure was composed entirely of crystallized sugar when discovered, and another instance's skin was a structure resembling potato chips. Questioning SCP-5081-1 regarding this behavior really provokes a coherent response. Some snackle customers love our products so much they have chosen to make them a part of their daily lives. We are forever grateful for your overwhelming support. Addendum. The following document was discovered on O51's desk at Site 1 on the year 2020, January 5th. Case number 2020L151298. Snack Foods LOC vs. SCP Foundation. In the Justice Court of Cocosta County, Illinois, to the above named defendant, a lawsuit has been filed against you. You are hereby summoned to answer the complaint in this action and to serve a copy of your answer to the court in 20 days after the delivery of this summons. In case of your failure to answer this summons, a judgment by default will be taken against you for the relief demanded in the complaint. Dated Numa, Illinois, January 5th, 2020. Edgar F. Government. Attorney for Plaintiff, 494 Mork Street, Suite 113. Numa, Illinois, 555-314-1592. Further action has been deemed unnecessary. We will not be denied. <laughs>